We are back this morning on our series In Depth today. We are looking at teacher shortages across this country. If class sizes are too large or there simply aren't enough teachers in the classroom, it does affect how kids learn. Now, you recently looked into this. This is a hot topic, so it's a growing problem across the country. In fact, it's turning into a huge issue in Denver, for example, where the teachers union there has said it's prepared to strike this Monday, and a strike just recently ended in Los Angeles. So the debate is usually over money, but it's a lot more than that. So our question this morning, what will it take to get more qualified teachers into our classrooms and keep them there. We tried to get some answers. From cities to small towns across America, teachers are feeling the strain. Salaries, large classroom sizes, lack of support and shortages are some of the big issues causing frustration. Some of us have master's degrees, some of us have PhDs, and so teachers perhaps are not financially compensated. Oh, I see what happened. Aaron Kutcher, Carly Wilson, and Katie McClovich are just a handful of the more than 3 million U.S. educators who welcome students into their classrooms every morning. I think sometimes people think teachers just come in, the kids just sit down, you kind of give them some books, and then they go home. It's right. so much more than that, isn't it? So much. <laughs> so much more. Not only are you lesson planning, you're, you're keeping it engaging. So there's a social emotional growth, and you're also trying to teach them, you know, to be good, good friends and good humans. By 2023, there will be more than 52 million students enrolled in U.S. public K through 12, and not enough teachers to teach them. The largest percentage of students in the country in California schools like this. Where we're seeing the most dramatic needs is probably California, the Southwest. We're seeing shortages in special ed, math, science, and technology teachers. You find a school librarian, you found a unicorn. Lily Eskelson Garcia is the president of the National Education Association representing teachers. It's the largest labor union in the country. We know what works. Walk into the best public schools in your state. Take a look at the support they give to those teachers. That's exactly what every school needs and what every student deserves. Of the 20 school districts here in Ventura County, more than half reported teacher shortages, with nearly two thirds unable to fill positions with teachers that are fully credentialed. A lot of people now have been looking at the state of California and looking at what happened with the teachers in Los Angeles. Was it salary? Was it resources? I think it's a combination of both. And then the support that they have. Teachers are a school nurse. They're a counselor. They're the therapist. They're um, the confidant for our students. Is the county doing enough? The things that we're looking forward to is, is student loan forgiveness. We are offering professional development. So we realize that there are things that we can do and so we are working with our districts. So what keeps these teachers in the classroom? I would say feeling the support. That's been a huge piece for me. It's interesting because you guys are mentioning support more than the other issues. Are we underestimating that part of it? I think you go into teaching for the teaching, not for the income. You yeah. do it, yeah. because, you you love do it the kids. because it's your passion. As teachers, there will always be something else I can do or there will always be something more I can be doing. I have it on my heart all the time. And if you don't love it, you're not going to want to feel that way all the time. So here's the challenge. When it comes to teacher shortages, you can go and recruit professionals, let's say in math or science, for example, to go into these classrooms. But if they aren't trained for the other parts of teaching, yeah. they often quit, which is what's happening. So because of that, they're in Ventura County. They have this program where they try to support those teachers and other first-year teachers. And it seems to be working. I think they have like a 96% retention oh, wow. rate. Um, and I think, and also if you look at salaries, teachers make, let's say we have the same degree, right? And we both go into our professions. I make 60 cents on your dollar as a teacher. As a teacher. Wow. As a teacher. And we're at the bottom of the list when you look at other industrialized nations. So there's a lot of work to be done, but I think now people are finally starting to say enough is enough. But it's interesting the support that they need more than the money. They're not Isn't that interesting? The, for the money. It's the passion to, to help these kids. Yeah. These kids. You've got a kid on the way to school soon. You've got kids in school. We just put our kindergartner in for the first time. And when you go and you walk into an elementary school, you see the teachers who commit all this time and effort yes. each day. Mm -hmm. It's simply putting value on that. Even if it's not money, that's not what they're asking for. Right. But just expressing as a community the appreciation for what they're doing for your kids. It yeah. really can make a big difference that we all 
energize that, right? Parents get involved in everything. That's a really good point. And you think about the the supplies that they're buying on their own or what have you. So one of the teachers I talked to, she's a first year teacher. She started this thing, like I think it's Amazon, right? So she says, here's what I need. You know, the district, maybe they can't afford it. So the teachers one at a time or the parents will come in with, you know, crayons or Kleenexes or whatever. But for her, she feels supported. Like that seems to be the buzzword um, that seems to be working. It's too important. 52 million kids. 52 million of our kids. Yeah. Yeah.